Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. And you know, if I'm not on the water folks, you can always find me maybe in the kitchen or preparing a shore lunch somewhere. And today, we're gonna prepare some striped bass and I got a very good friend of mine with me that you've probably seen on some of our video clips and that's Dougie. Dougie, come on in, Doug. Join well, us hi, today. Evo. How you doing? Dougie, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? This is Dougie. Well, hi, everybody. And Dougie says, we got Evo, we got Claudio, we got Antonio, so we're going to call you Duggo. I'm Duggo. Because <laughs> this is cooking, and cooking and, is Italian. And guess, guess a what? <laughs> okay. I caught that fish. We're, we're going to cook striper today, Dougie. Yes. Duggo. We're gonna Dougie o. Okay. We're going to cook striper today. And uh, Dougie O here has been eating more healthier lately. Yeah. So rather than frying the fish, bake it. We're going to bake it. So we're going to show a very simple recipe, easy to do, quick and easy, and absolutely delicious. And also today we have my mother with me, and she's going to be the taste test, and she's going to let us know if we did a good job or not. All right, so we got this nice striped bass that, that Dougie over here says he caught, which he may have because we fished together. All right, now simple ingredients. We've got Old Bay seasoning. We've got paprika. We've got some lemon pepper, uh, breadcrumbs, and I've melted some butter here as well that we're going to use for this recipe. And what I'm going to do with this, uh, with these breadcrumbs, is I'm going to I'm going to add some of this Old Bay seasoning to the breadcrumb. So basically, Dougie, what we're doing here, or Dougie O, we're cutting the breadcrumbs with some spices. I and, know. And again, you could use any spices you want. Really? Of course. Okay. I just happen to like Old Bay seasoning. It's really good on fish. Yeah. And the other thing I like is this lemon pepper. So I'm going to add some lemon pepper to my breadcrumbs. So you're doing a lot of cooking on your own now, Dougie, yeah. as we know. Yeah. And this is really, really simple to do. And so what I normally do is wash my hands first. Well, I, I of uh, course, mine are clean. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to take the melted butter, Dougie. In it goes. And all we're going to do here is put that fillet in the butter and get it covered in the butter. Okay, just like that. Now. You had mentioned before about healthy. If you don't want to use butter, you like to use that. Uh, I like olive oil margarine. That Bissell olive oil margarine. Yeah. And that's fine too. You could use olive oil margarine as well. So I just uh, like to use butter, so we're going to use butter. And then, very simply, take your fillet and get it all covered up with the breadcrumb. Very, very simple. Just like that. Okay, cover it all up very good. Don't be shy. Perfect. Now, how simple is this? This little bit of butter that we have left in here, we're going to take our striped bass fillet. Now, I say fillet and I say fillet. And people write me all the time. You can either say fillet or you can say fillet. Fillet is also proper, but most people say fillet. Fillet. Yeah. Okay, so let's I say fillet. You say fillet. We're going to stick with fillet today because most people say fillet. Yeah. All right. So we've got this fillet in there, and that now, what I want to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this paprika and I'm going to sprinkle it on top, just like that. So we've got a little bit of color on there, and that's going to be absolutely delicious. And one more thing I'm going to do I'm going to take some of this butter. What you could do, Dougie, I'm just going to get sure. a knife out of here. Now, what you can do is some slivers of butter on the top, or again, put a little bit of your margarine on the top, and that will just help keep the fish moist. You ever have the fish coming out of the oven and it's, it's dried out? Mm -hmm. Well, with that little bit of butter we have on the bottom and a little bit on the top, that'll keep it just extra moist. It doesn't require a lot, does it? No, just a little bit like that and that'll melt and that'll seep in. Now the other thing you were asking me is how long do you need to... That's right. Right? Yeah. So... There's two things I was wondering. How long? Yeah. What's your formula? And how hot is your oven? Okay. So 400 degrees. Start by preheating the oven at 400 degrees. So once, once it's at 400, what you want to do is for every inch 
of the fish that you have, or the fillet, you want to go 10 minutes. Okay. So this, I took a quick measure, it's, it's an inch and a quarter. So we're going to go... 12 minutes. Yeah, 12 minutes should be, should be just fine. 12, 12, 13 minutes. Okay, but general rule of thumb, 1 inch, 10 minutes at 400 degrees. So we're going to pop it in the oven, take it out, and then we're going to give my mother oh. to give us the taste test. <laughs> She'll be honest. And see if we pass. Now you're, now you're having an expert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, out it comes. Oh, Dougie, look at that. What can I see? And you know what else we've got? We've got some nice potatoes here that we've been cooking. Oh, yes. Now. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That's beautiful. Okay, let's see if I can get this out in one piece. Look at that, it's cooked to perfection, Doug. Yes, it is. Let me get it out in one piece. Now, look at that, Dougie. Can now, you see that? I gotta mention something, because you asked me a little bit earlier, because this filet is all one consistency. But you I don't know. Yeah. Like, it's so much an inch for, you know, lots of fillets. Exactly. They have a thin end and a thick end. Exactly. How do, you, how do you cook it the same? Well, that's what we were talking about a little bit earlier. And as I said, it's one inch, 10 minutes at 400. Yeah. So if you've got a fillet that's thick at one end and then it goes down thin to the tail. Like most of them. You could just cut it and fold it over and just oh. make it the same consistency. So either fold it over or cut it and just add it. That makes sense. Yeah, and then you have the so same So it's the same consistency right through. Exactly. Okay. Now, the real test. Let's go. Let's get the, the, the oh, true look at taste that. test. I got to taste this. What, what yeah. do you think, Ma? How's I that got, look? I got to taste it. Oh, good. good. Okay. Let's test it. Oh, that's straight look, bass. Look very good. Yes. Yeah. I caught that at Cape Cod. Yeah. Yes. Here's a little corner piece. Just get a little. There okay. you go, Ma. Take okay. that, Ma. What I do you got, think of that? I got to taste first. All right. So you gotta tell the truth, Ma. It's good. Okay. You're supposed now, to, now. I never even added salt because we use. I should have mentioned that earlier. We use we Ma. used salted butter, so we didn't have to I, add I, salt. I taste some salt too. Because it's in the butter, Ma. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For me, that's good anyway. Okay. Good. Very good. Good job. We passed the test. Simple recipe. Healthy. Yeah, that's good. Quick, easy quick. to do. Put it in the oven, next time you get some striper or any type of your favorite fish, plop it in the oven, a little bit of potato, some rice on the side, you've got a nice meal. Potato too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as usual folks, potato. thanks. Hey Ma, thanks for tuning in to Thunderbiz Fishing Potato Tips. too. Yeah, good, yeah, potato's good as well. Yeah. And as always, like I always say, until That's next good. time, good luck and good fish.